Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Battlefield 1's behemoths are touted as an amazing gameplay mechanic, designed to give the losing team an opportunity to turn things around in battle. In reality, however, they appear to have the exact opposite effect. That's the purpose of today's video, featuring alpha gameplay from Narwhal Dave in the background. There are three announced behemoths in Battlefield 1, the Armored Train, the Dreadnought Battleship, and the Airship. We've seen the Airship in action during Battlefield 1's closed alpha and at the promotional events. It can have a full crew of six, including the pilot, three 20mm cannon gunners, and then two Maxim machine gunners. The pilot has the ability to drop bombs, and the other players on the team can use the airship as a spawn point. It seems an effective weapon, and it makes an appearance on the battlefield when one team is losing, and typically pretty significantly. It's perfectly built for Team Deathmatch, where the sole purpose of the game mode is to kill the enemy. However, in other game modes, like Conquest, the behemoth is causing major problems. It actually hurts more than it helps. Let's look at the St. Quentin Scar map. In Conquest, the goal is to capture and hold points. If an airship is deployed, up to six players, that's nearly 20% of the team, could wind up derping around on the airship instead of actually contributing to the fight. This is on top of the other useless people on the ground who are already not playing the objective. I know it sounds like I'm whining, but there are actual numbers from the closed alpha to back this up. I've watched a good chunk of gameplay from the closed alpha, and I've yet to see a behemoth actually turn a game around. In fact, most of the time, the addition of a behemoth actually increases the disparity between scores. So instead of being a glimmer of hope for the losing team, the booming horn announcing the behemoth's arrival is actually more like a death knell. Let's look at the EA Play stream, for example. The losing team was reinforced with a behemoth at a score of 62 to 78. That's a difference of 16 points. During the time the airship was in play, the winning team increased their lead to over 50 points. When the behemoth was finally destroyed, the score was 106 to 157. I watched a few other games and also jotted down some observations. In almost 80% of the battles, not only did the airship fail to turn the tide of battle, it likely made things significantly worse for the losing team. In Narwhal Dave's video here, there's a 40-point difference when the airship is deployed. By the time it's destroyed, that gap is widened to 75 points. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the idea of the behemoth. I really do. But in practice, it doesn't seem to be working as intended. For those of you saying it's the team's fault for not using it effectively, I want you to know you're absolutely right. Certainly, this is an issue with players as individuals, but it may also be an indication that the balancing of the behemoth should be adjusted, or it shouldn't make an appearance in particular game modes. As it stands, the behemoth really just amounts to a great distraction on the battlefield to both your team and the enemy, and does little but siphon manpower from the ground. Perhaps DICE put it into Battlefield 1 to make one-sided slaughters a little more interesting for the losing team, or to keep people from bailing out of the servers in such situations. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't seem to be functioning quite as intended. With the Battlefield 1 Alpha now in the books, I hope DICE finds a solution to make the behemoth more of a help than a hindrance, or to encourage more objective play in Battlefield 1. If you play the Battlefield 1 Alpha, what do you think of the airships? Did you find them useful? What would you change? If you didn't get to play the Alpha, does this news concern you? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I get comments all the time, why don't you have more subscribers? Please share on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.